I don't know if this will be required at all, but fluff-wise what Reiko does is like she like raises one of her hands and she tries to basically do water bending, like using her bufu, like trying to oh. manipulate the falling rain to create like some sort of like dome around them. So like the rain is still falling, but it's like uh, it avoids them. Alright. So if you want to do like a magic attack, and I'll just roll the. The doom pool in response because <laughs> you're trying to make things better okay. okay it's it's cool i didn't know how mechanically but that's how fluff wise that rate what reiko does is it like everything so affiliation yeah you're, okay. yeah you're five you're five die for the thing uh is it solo uh yeah you'll be solo Okay, so D8, distinction D8, uh, power set 1, Bufu D10, and uh, yeah, Bufu D10, power set 2, Bufu D10, because technically, well, Abyssu being Abyssu, and Akkoro. Uh, specialization, actually, what the fuck would that be? Not exactly courage. Um, expression because you're showing off yeah, yeah it's i mean it's not my intention to show off but yeah i'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm buying that okay and i'm pretty sure no no modifiers at all so let's see Ooh. Ooh. that's a nine <laughs> could have been <laughs> but but no one right, i roll i roll the the doom pool so uh, yeah. Damn, you got hi. <laughs> wow. Well, you got the better rolls. Yeah, that sucks. All right. So I guess it. I guess it will start pouring down heavily, as if. As if the gods are purposely trying to not let you do that. Kind of seems like you just got a case of bad luck. <sighs> oh well, I know it myself that Lady Luck is a flickle mistress. And then like, me firstly chuckle at uh, Fuma and... Well, sorry, I think I made it worse. Well, you like the rain, so maybe not exactly worse. Oh, I'm I'm getting uh, sidetracked because you know the main reason why I came here. I mean, one of the reasons is that uh, I wanted to thank you once more for giving me that thing for my travel, and I'm here to give it back to you. Give it back? Ah. Well, I I wasn't intending to have it returned. I thought it would be quite useful for for you, but if it's done its purpose, oh. By the way, he'll just kind of gesture towards like a, uh, kind of like a stool. He'll be like, uh, I made it for you since uh, this isn't the first or second time. So there might have been a possibility of you coming back and, well, having more than one chair is useful. Oh, you didn't have... But I'm like, yeah, I mean, they did it purpose, I don't know, because I don't know how many... Well, I feel it's safer in your hands, but should it ever become necessary, like if I ever have to go to suicide for... I will just uh, borrow it. Uh, um... But yeah, and then like, I sigh, and I guess like... Uh, so like, shall we sit? I'm fine either way because I don't know if he like motion to stall like that like he made a chair so like we can sit so yeah he's he's been sitting the whole time oh. but last time he gave you his seat if you remember so just yeah kind of sorry I don't chair. remember <laughs> yeah. uh, so like yeah so I like I uh, sit down and like sigh and like he still sees so I'm trying to be like happy and that be uh, like I'm not 
hiding the fact that there is still a lot of on my mind and probably out of the blue I just say to him don't take this <laughs> the wrong way from us but I guess I just wanted to talk with somebody with whom I didn't uh, uh, screw up and I didn't complicated things you didn't screw up. Yeah. Actually, I might as well uh, ask you that, saying that it was, mm, well, my cousin that uh, thought uh, it would be a good idea to, for me to meet you. And I guess she, uh, she was definitely right. Like, I, I offer him like, like a full smile, but it's slightly forced. And not first because of him, but because of the other stuff. And say... Well... It would be... She wouldn't like it if I, like, you know, spilled the beans about everything. And I'm not sure if the details are important right now, but... Uh, let's just say we're in this situation... Where... You promised a person to, like, be there for her every time, like, you know... Like, buddy buddy, you cover... Her, uh, her back, she's covering mine, and we like unstoppable duo. Still, because all of that promises, you. Yes, I don't know what, because I felt scared, I don't know why. Because of that, uh, like you let her down, you just left her, and you felt like. And then I like, I don't hold my. And I felt, and then you feel like utter shit. I. How. Would it just cut, like, if you would want to meet that person and say you sorry, would that cut it? Like, as, as I've, been, I, I've been talking, like, in character also, progressively, I've, like, stumbling more and more, and it's pretty obvious that still, it still weights heavily on her mind, and basically I'm playing the fact that, I, I, I personally think that, yeah, Reiko has a trauma from, it's still hard for her to talk about it. But she's basically <laughs> trying to ask Fuma san for, like, a sort of, or like, uh, not offer, fuck, I forgot the word. Advice. Oh, advice. And, uh, he'll just kind of, uh, he'll just take it all in. He'll, he'll be quiet for a moment. And he'll be like, uh, I see it still weighs heavily on your heart. Uh, even though you seem quite different in personality, you both do seem said it's a very similar trait of taking everything onto yourself and pushing for another person. The, well, when it comes to Katsumi, well, she never quite truly lays her burdens on other people. And in the end, well, I guess you've seen, well, a side effect of her. Yeah, I cringe because I think he refers to like when I saw her back and what she was like this. So I don't know if he mentions that, but Rico thinks he he thinks about that. Oh, and like I, <laughs> you mean, yeah, those those scars. Are... On one hand, mm. I I really like respect her and like it's. I don't know if I was able to push so hard if I was in her place, but I'm just trying to find a way to help her. She's my cousin and, well, like, it's a matter of promise. If she can't count on her family, then on whom she can. Mm. I think it's the very, it's the very essence that she, she can rely on her family, it's why she feels so guilty, is that she cannot provide in return. At least that's what her, her emotions and her inner demons have caused her to think. That her worth is, well, measured in 
what we call magic and mythology. Well, seems seems like it, and I I felt powerless to well, and like I get like small smile. I I have high hopes that I might have something to help her with, to banish those inner demons away, but it will take time. But I, I guess, uh, I know by now that simple words, if I tell her that she doesn't owe me anything and I do not expect anything ret in return, it will be just words for her. Hmm. Right, right. Well, <sighs> if these things were easy, Maker, then, uh, well, he wouldn't be talking to me right now because, well, People would have solved their own problems, but that's not the way of the world. I wish I could say that it's just through sheer determination and just being around that things will get better, but honestly, people people help need to help themselves before they can accept help from others. It's something that within Katsumi herself that she needs to realise. Of course. Being there as the fallback for when she falls is never a bad thing, but thinking that you'll be able to do it by yourself is, well, not the, not the most, uh, well, how can I say? It, it's it's not really a scenario that's entirely well successful. Hi. Truly value your words of guidance for my son, and but it's also the horse. Like you know, if when I like, I don't think well, like when I see her, like remind myself like what happened. I know that she needs to realize something for herself, but I don't know if I'm able to just stand by like waiting while I see her suffering. Mm. Yes, I know, I know, but it's like your mind tells you something and your heart tells otherwise. And he'll just, he'll just kind of, uh, he'll just kind of narrow his eyes and he'll be like, well, I suppose there is something you can do, so it's not exactly conventional. I'm still trying to piece together the small fragments of information I do know. It's been quite hard ever since my master went away, but there is still a small part I can do. Well, obviously I would accept uh, every help, but it's always nice to have like backup plan. Yeah, before you say anything like I don't want you to feel forced to tell me because I I maybe not exactly bowling my ass uh, not really making my case like <laughs> you know initially I just wanted to know if if just meeting Katsumi and prostrating myself before her uh, you know, out of character, typical Japanese style, on your knees, like, fist implanted in, and your forehead, like, on the ground, and, like, you know, saying sorry, that kind of uh, thinking. But just uh, cut it, but, yeah, before you say, uh, well, I, there's something right after that, well, sorry for language, fuck up, in that, what was the name of that suicide forest? Sorry, I'm just keep on forgetting. Uh, Aoki Gahara. Um, after a Aoki Gahara, my father mentioned about dream walking. Yeah, that will hopefully might. Mm. I I'm willing to listen, but don't feel forced to give me information if you don't feel like certain that you should.
and I, like I give like a weak chuckle and say because I just came here to you know pleasant conversations, even if about hard stuff, maybe some advice, but not extortion. Uh, right. Well, and he'll be like, uh, <sighs> well, I do believe it's in my principles to tell you things that I do know. I believe everybody has the right to knowledge, but it's something that is, well, I'd say it's somewhat of a disturbing topic, but, well, since it affects you, I might as well tell you. Uh, have you, have you been in the presence of somewhere or something that, well, is more than just a student or, or an adult figure in your life, somebody who's, uh, well, quite significant in the large scheme of things. So basically somebody who's really, uh, well, powerful, will just kind of scratch his, his sodden head. Mm. I don't... I don't think the term awakened means much to you at the moment. I just uh, shake my head like while like really deep in thought, like trying to figure it out uh, if there's really somebody. I mean, and like she thinks of that, I mean, I don't know, my father, well, he's a head priest, I imagine a person like that needs to have Power for that position, but I'm just not sure. He'll just kind of chuckle and he'll be like, if any of the Fujiwara and Nakatomi decided to awaken, well, that would that would cause quite quite the crisis mor morality-wise. I never thought that one of the cloistered families would ever put themselves above a god. But <laughs> no, no, he'll just say, yeah. Uh, can you put your hand in your pocket? Um, I do my head. Uh, okay. And I do. Alright, so Reiko will feel in her pocket like the, like torn pieces of card. Okay, I pull them out and like, because I still have like this like his jacket or coat like uh, like over me like I'm not wearing it per se it just like it acts in like covers my head etc so I'm using this partial like like I pull them out and make sure that they do not you know soak with water and then I look ever since you've come into domain that stuck out as a sore point and well that's why I asked if you've been in contact with anything there uh, powerful lately but well it seems that uh, if you were you didn't I guess they were quite subversive uh, I like should be just crushed. well I'm uh, you know how it is uh, sometimes I <laughs> I mean I've Judging from the state of them, I, I probably would have missed them myself. There's no there's no need to feel any shame. I was just simply curious. Perhaps I could have been more direct. No, no, no. It's, it, it's fine. But then I, like, look at this card. Is it, like, the pieces of the card are, like, pieces of Arcana card? Or... Yeah, it's the pieces of the cards that Shin gave you. Oh. Huh. Uh, well, and I like mutter to myself, but obviously loud enough for someone to hear. Well, considering what he did, um, it might be him. Uh, and then I shake my head. Well, I'm not sure if that is the person, but it might have been somebody. But if I remember correctly, and I like. Um, I don't think other members of the march would appreciate if I just said out loud who that person is. I, huh, I like think for a moment. But they said, and like I start muttering. 
Because both in and out of character, pressure because I, I don't know if I have headache or not, maybe just tired, I simply cannot, for the love of everything, remember if was the case with Shin and Fuma, or rather, can is Fuma in the know about Shin or not? Is it? I think Leo knows. told him a little bit. A little. Yeah. It's not like we're specifically keeping Shin a secret from March. We're just being like, yeah, Shin seems kind of important, especially after those red hand guys. We should try to protect him. Uh -huh. He has the basic knowledge, but he doesn't know like the inner bits, like, you know, he's ancient and old and, you know, stuff like that. Okay, but I probably don't know. From what I'm muttering, it's up to Fuma if he realizes that I'm talking about Hmm. Well, I suppose I should uh, I should lead on to the to what you were trying to find out. Uh, those cards in your pocket, uh, they were made by somebody who was awakened to an entirely new state, and people who have been well blessed is the wrong word. Chosen, perhaps, is uh, more apt. People have been chosen by those you have awakened. Well. They're, they're able to influence the world in a way that uh, through other means would be quite impossible. Mm. <sighs> Did you know Jeffrey over here is, uh, well, he's a remnant of an awakened? Probably not. Uh, uh. I mean, huh, that's actually like totally new information for me. I mean, it's pretty clear. Uh, Jeffrey is a nice, well, guy, shop, machine. But are you telling me that he's uh, like a piece of an awakened being that was like he was a part of something or someone greater? Yes. Huh. <laughs> so like this Jeffrey that we know is like I don't know any like Japanese typical like. Uh, store chain so I'm gonna use like American ones so it's like Jeffrey's like your local shop compared to Walmart so that <laughs> that that be like to that you know to to what he was even though it's taken the shape of an object uh, something which I should have familiarity with given my my line of abilities uh, he's still quite I, I say he that's just the general aura that the vending machine gives off, but that that is still uh, it still used to be a part of somebody out there. They've fragmented off into the state that he is now. But uh, well, he might be able to find your answers through uh, Jeffrey right here. If you want to, if you if you want to help Katsumi. Well, but uh, I mean, of course, I want to help her. I mean, that's one of my main motivations. I, she, she's a. She doesn't deserve half of the shit that's happening, and it's, and I hate to see that. But I, of course, I will remember your words. I know that if I try to push too much with my health, it will... Well, it's something similar she said to me in the past. And I will always remember your advice about that. Yes. If you feel like you've run into... If you've run into a dead end, well... I've personally found uh, much use within consulting with Jeffrey myself though it can raise quite the moral question I know I know Katsumi isn't exactly a fan of uh, be of uh, fate oh that's predetermination that somebody is well cannot change his fate I mean I kind of agree with that we cannot believe that everything is set for us. But I don't know, this is like... 
TLDR, he's kind of saying like the bond the bond boutique is really good for you. <laughs> but I can't exactly say that as a he's just saying like Ah, okay, I, so Mechanic was just saying that I should stack up some XP and use them to yes. get casual and uh, oh my god, this personal story events. Yes, he's that's, saying that, but I can't say that. He's, he's saying that Jeffrey has the ability to to give you what you desire. <laughs> Oh, there, there is some mo- there is some way. moral like conundrum and saying you're basically using magical powers to get close to somebody. Oh, okay. Now I now I get it. Yeah, yeah. sorry that you had to say that directly, but uh... it's fine. I, got, I know it's a pretty it's a pretty weird comic be- because the meta stuff is blended into the in-game stuff. So uh, it's it's fine. Oh yeah, I will. Hello, Richard. I always... Hey. Oh, hello. I want... Uh, well, it's not like I would pursue that hey immediately, but... Uh, well, there are other venues that this dream walking uh, thing that my father mentioned, I will look into. And if that doesn't mm. work, well, there are other ways, I guess. <sighs> I'm surprised that, uh, well, Jun hasn't taken it further with you. Katsumi herself, she's yeah, she's able to do it as well. I mean, that's good for her. She should feel proud about it. But I guess it never it never came up. And mm. well, I suppose uh, I suppose those were the days before before you met the motley crew. Or the 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 crew of the or or the students of one A, of course. <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> Easier days, sometimes boring days. Oh, I, I might have a lot of going on and feeling emotional. Term. I guess I'm pretty happy that the things change and I had a chance to meet. Including you. It seems, um, it seems that you've met some, well, quite a few characters. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying yourself, uh, Reiko. And uh, <laughs> thank you for your compliment. It wasn't missed. Uh, that's why I'm trying to have uh, joy in life. Sometimes stumbling, but... So yeah, uh, honestly I suddenly like, like my train of thought just got lost, so I think I milled this scene for whatever it's worth. So as, unless you want to throw something more, but I only have like one thing as I will be like leaving to like end the scene with. Alright, I was gonna say it's like some lightning strikes. Uh, well, not exactly uh, um, a perfect romantic style, but as I will be living, like, I, I take, like, the jacket, uh, and as I'm giving him, I also gonna uh, hug him. Uh, just thank you for he's, he's everything. He's just been sitting in the rain for, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, thank you for everything. Like... And he should know that I mean like literally like everything. The talk that the fact that he wanted to like be in the fucking rain. So like I appreciate it. So like yeah, I give him the code like I'm, like hack him goodbye. Alright. Uh can you roll me your interesting roll? Oh my god, openly. Yes. Okay, um May I spend a PP to add something? Yes. I mean, remember, every is just shaking his his sake glass at you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna spend PP and add... Would expression work? Mm, understanding would work. Oh, okay. Oh, right, it's even better. You can add your GDU modifier, obviously. Mm, okay, I need to double check what's my social link with him. Uh, then it's not because it's currently one. <laughs> so it's 
so I don't add anything. It's only a one. Yes. You, you uh, never, you never said, you never said it got upgraded, and I didn't touch it. Touch Whoops. It. All right. Uh, I guess, I guess uh, it, it's definitely a two for now. So you can add a plus. One. You can add a plus one. Okay. Okay, so that was six on intuition. All right. So when you hug him, you kind of feel like this, like a warm, magical sensation. Just, it's just, it's just kind of like, it just, it just kind of tingles over your skin like goosebumps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me likes. Well, mm. if he works for it, I'll show him the true worm. Wiggle, wiggle, my <laughs> bros. <laughs> ah, sorry, playing too much Monster Hearts in the past, and I'm like, just don't bother by this stuff. <laughs> Besides, I'm really that. feeling fucking good. I was gonna good mention bats, all the talks buddy. of reaching into your pocket. Was that a metaphor or? <laughs> good <bat. laughs> Besides, it's not, it's not like I have a headache, but like, <laughs> as the time passes, I'm like, I think fucking, it's hard to go, get uh, thinking right and speaking English, fucking hell. Anyways, yeah, I maybe that's sin for this worth. And I'm done. I totally understand what you mean. Alright. You had a, you had a cuddle in the rain and some lightning, alright. <laughs> uh, you can go off to, back to the temple later. I guess. Good. Anybody have any idea what that's supposed to mean? I'm kind of clueless here. It's a rabbit scrolling. Mm. It yeah. scrolls slow. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> All right, so before we go to the temple, I guess we'll find out what happened to Ryu. <laughs> so, actually, I will give you some time, because I did write something for you. Oh, you Sit mean uh, Ryu is the devil thing? Yes. Yeah, I just read it. Oh, how did you know? <laughs> it's different, and people check what you do when they log in. Yeah, but... I was just looking through those things and uh, noticed there was something different in it than what I had wrote. Yeah. Okay, you read it already. Yes. Yeah. So that's basically like how how your contract, like what effect it has on you. So, bas basically, you care you, you 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 care a lot more about things. But that's the TLDR. Makes sense. And now I've also got a cool scar under one of my eyes. Yes. Speaking of which. Uh, uh, can you owe me a courage roll? Alright. Do I get to add any modifiers to this, or is it just straight 110? Or is it just straight uh, courage? Yeah, just a straight courage. Alright, so, uh... I guess you, you, the view doesn't really freak out, but, uh, he will be aware, like... After classes end, that his his eye starts twitching, and there's like a there's there's like a pain searing through under his under his lower eyelid. Yeah, if that happens, Rio will try and find somewhere where he can take a look at what happened to him. I should mean the male bathroom then. Yeah, probably. All right. So uh, if you look in the mirror, you'll notice like you'll you'll notice like the three pronged scar, just uh, just ripping down from your face, like incomplete. Is it bleeding or is it just the scar? It's not bleeding, but it's puffy. Hmm. Uh, I suppose for that particular sense, um, 
Well, you will probably go to the nurse's office to see if she could figure out what the hell happened. And he's got an idea, but... Alright. So I guess as you go to the nurse's office, you'll see a killer is talking to Iger where you can hear them. Oh, thank you. He will do everything in his power not to listen to him. Alright. And, uh, that she will be, uh, she'll be doing the rounds with, with the, with the P, with the PDA because we don't use clipboards now. <laughs> and she'll be it's a hospital, they'll still use clipboards. They're behind the times. <laughs> And she'll be like, uh, ah, Takinaka, greetings. Yeah, I just had an interesting experience. I just want to make sure it's not too major. 